Did you see that? Yeah, it's a fly. I got this. No, I got this. I mean, it was around here just a second ago. What? Jay? Don't move. What? Just stay still. It's on my face, right? Just don't worry. It doesn't bite. But stay still. But relax. Wait. Ow. Ash. Missed it. Sorry, bro. Ash. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Mm. Yes. Time is up. No, please. please. Please be patient with me, please. You were given a few days to deliver Sonia's heart to us. But you joked with your man too. I I'm sorry. Just, I I'll do it. Just, just give me some more time. Time? That's the enemy we have for now. With time, he increases strength. With time, he gathers power. With time, he escapes from our hold. And you are talking about time. Time? I, I, I want him to feel what he did to my daughter. He has to pay. And you have to pay for your own foolishness. Please. Please. <coughs> Fool. The task ahead of you is more important than your quest for vengeance. <coughs> I'll, I'll do the right thing. Too late, buddy. You got one more thing. I repeat, one more thing. <laughs>
Fifi, I'm off to work. Daddy, what's the with those? Ah, well, darling, I have to get to work, all right? Because the boss needs me. Okay? Even if you have to go, at least you'll say bye to your baby. My little potato! Stop calling her that. I mean, but look at the beautiful thing now, eh? She's not a thing either. Uh, look at the... the beautiful... Something that has the face of a potato. <laughs> Funny, right? Anyway, she looks more like you. No, no, I think I was uh, better looking when I was her age. But she, she, she looks like you. She, she looks more like you right now. I think you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, when will you be back? I'll be back real soon. I'll be back real soon. I just need to um, check on my boss. Frank. He needs me. My boss needs me. Babe, I'm not at peace with this association you have with your boss. Come on. I can't abandon him now that everyone else has. Alright? Don't let sentiment be cloud your sense of judgment. Besides, I've been having very terrible dreams lately. They are really terrible. So, you want me to quit my job because of some dreams you are having? Fifi, this man took care of us when we had nothing. He put a roof over our heads. So now you want me to leave him because of what? Because of the bad dreams I've been having. Fifi, your bad dreams are not enough reason for me to leave a good man. A good man? Yes, a good man. Oh. Do you want me to remind you of whom we're talking about here? Look, I know what Chidro Soya means to me. I don't know what your dream means to you, but please, let this be the last time that you tell me to leave a good man because of a bad dream. I'll see you in the evening. So, are you leaving? No, I'm returning. Why are you doing this? Time is not on my side, Martin. You have something I want. I have nothing you want. You do, son. You have taken everything away from me. You have powers, and that I can never take away from you unless you give me. Powers? Yes, the kind of powers that bring fire to the third dimension. What do you need powers for? There are forces against us. There are enemies that want us dead. If you and I team up together, we just might win this battle. But you were on their side. But I stood against them. Why? Because they want your blood. And I will not have it. That's why we must stand together as one. We cannot be unequally yoked together. Oh, Martins. This is not the time to nurse old wounds. What does light have with darkness? <sighs> Every passing second draws me closer to death. What communion does righteousness have with unrighteousness? We have no business together. <gasps> death is in this house! Death? What do you mean? I see him every night. Who? Death! I smell his presence every day, Martins. He is here for me. He is here in this room. Ha! Ah. You are drowning in darkness. Then bring me into your light. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, and without Him nothing was made that has been made. In him was light, and the light was the life of all mankind. 
Martins, were you reciting a creed? No, no, no. I, I, I am introducing the light. Who's the light? Jesus Christ, the Son of God. <laughs> the Jesus that I know, he is a man without sin. Uh, yet, he shed his blood for you and I. He was wounded for our offenses. He was bruised for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. Mm. I have served the devil, covenanted with the devil, shed blood for the devil. And now, hear yourself. You're telling me that this Jesus shed his blood for me. How is that possible? It is possible because he loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. I killed your mother. I shed her blood on the altar of sacrifice. So how can a man so be loving and so furious? That's it. If I, a human being, can forgive you. Jesus is more willing to forgive you. You? You? Forgive me? I've tried that. I've tried attacking you. I've tried attacking you with bitterness and anger. Somehow I end up in the prison because unforgiveness keeps one imprisoned. <laughs> Martins. Martins. Even if you forgive me, even if Jesus forgives me, I cannot forgive myself. Then you will remain in the prison. Well, so, some prisons are more satisfying than freedom. Only Jesus can bring true satisfaction. Matthias, it's time to go home. What about you? I already know my destination. I, I will not let you end there. My driver will take you. Dad. Stay safe and be careful. I can't, I, can't, I can't leave you like this. You have a great family waiting for you. You can be part of this family too. No. Your family is blessed. But you see, these hands are cursed. Whatever it touches with us. So go. 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 <sighs> Martins. Jesus, always be my dream to 
talk to my son. Ask for his forgiveness. <laughs> this is all I, I ever wanted to do, but I did not know how to do it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Please, please, forgive yourself. Please, please forgive yourself, please. I don't deserve freedom, but you do. Go. Go. What's up, Flora? Hi. I heard your phone ringing severely since morning. Why are you not picking your calls? Oh, it is Coyote. Coyote? So who is he? He's a friend. So why are you not picking his calls? <laughs> you know, I don't even know how to explain what is happening to me. I preached to him and he accepted Christ. Okay. But he's just so stubborn that he does not want to embrace common sense or reason. No. <laughs> that reminds me of somebody I know. Hmm. He, you know, the Bible is true. Whatsoever you sow, you do it. You reap. Auntie, I am not reaping anything, ma. Hmm. I see. When a disciple is discipling his discipler, there's nothing as annoying as that. I really can relate, you know. Mm? Sandra, you are taking it the wrong way. I understand everything. You told him to do something and then he's lecturing you on how to do it the right way. Am I right or wrong? I'm not angry you because God don't commote every spirit of anger in me. Mm. But he's just so selfish, so stubborn, uh -uh. so irritating, so annoying so lost in his own world that he does not care about those that care about him. Hmm. So, you care about him, right? Auntie, <laughs> waiting with the talk, waiting with the talk. I meant his mother and his brother, they care about him. So you don't care about him? Of course I care about him. He's like a brother to me. Aww. <laughs> you know, most of the Christian romance I know of actually started from brother-sister relationship. Sandra, we are talking about spiritual warfare here, not romance warfare. I mean, why your life can't be like this? We are saying the same thing. You know, it's, it's like this. It's graduates from brother-sister relationship to what? Spiritual warfare. You don't read your Bible today. Um, no. I better go read your Bible because your mind don't decay. He even had to believe, say, now nah, you preach to me. <laughs> Why? Because you they talk nonsense from your mouth. <sighs> I no blame your mouth. Now your heart I blame. We don't rotting. Who? Uh -uh. Are they come out? Flora, no call me. Oh. Go wash your heart with. I book. Huh? <sighs> Jesus. 
help me. You said in your word that I can do all things through you who gives me strength. You said I am more than a conqueror. Through Christ who loves me. Ah, Jesus. convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels, nor principalities, neither present nor the future, nor any power, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate me from the love of God. It's in Christ Jesus our Lord. Don't tell me you are here to report another case of kidnap. Unfortunately. This school is cursed. Who is the person in question? He's my son. Your son? Uh, well, officer, not biological son like that. He's just like a guardian because he's... Mr. Debola, your story is unnecessary. She gets the idea. My story is not necessary. It is unnecessary. He is my son. I just wanted to make sure that uh, there is no confusion here, actually. There is no confusion anywhere. Stop emphasizing on unnecessary details. He is my son. Okay, I get it. He is your son. Yes. Can I see his picture? That's him. Wait a minute. What is it? You are Mr. Martin's father. You know Martin's? Yes, I do. And... Oh no. Oh no. What is it? <sighs> Sir. You will be spending some time with me here in the station. <sighs> what for? You have questions to answer. What kind of question? Did you pay the registrar a visit some days ago? I did. You are clearly the one. <sighs> What is going on? I mean, what, is, what is happening? You are Mr. Martin's father. Yes, I'm Martin's father. Then you would have to explain to us why you killed your wife and used her blood for rituals. You have questions to answer, Chief Duro Sawyer. He's not my son. Baba Bero. He's not my biological son. He's my spiritual son. We are not related by blood. We are related only by the blood of Jesus. It's not my son. Bagwenro, <laughs> save the details. I think she gets the idea. Thanks for the clarification. You would have spent the nights in prison. <sighs> I have a Bagwenro. For the records, you were too quick to disown him. <clears throat> Please, don't let him know. Well, you can be sure that your secret is safe with me. For the records, I have no secret with you. Nevertheless, thank you. <sighs> we will find him.
we will do our best. The medical test shows that you are perfect. There is nothing wrong with you. You keep saying this, you keep saying this, and I don't understand. What are you saying, doctor? I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. I called you for a reason. There must be a reason why I called you. I said there's something wrong with me. And you are saying there's nothing wrong with me. Are you saying that I don't know what I'm saying? You know what you are saying, sir. Then why are you arguing with me? Uh, sir, I'm not arguing with you. Maybe you didn't wake up on the right side of the bed. You will not wake up on the right side of the bed. Why are these insults? Why? I'm sorry, sir. I said there's something wrong with me and you are insulting my intelligence. Why? I'm sorry. I feel there's something wrong with you. You. Where were you earlier this morning when I was calling you? Sir, you, you did not call me this morning. I was calling you. I was calling, I was shouting your name all around. I kept saying, Laulu, Laulu, Laulu. Where did you go to? Sir, you, you, you did not shout my name, sir. I shouted you. Why, why is everybody talking? What is wrong with everybody? There was power outage and I was shouting your name. There was no power outage, sir. What is wrong with everybody? I'm a doctor. There was power. There was no power outage earlier this morning. At all, sir. They, they haven't taken... The, the, the light has been... There was no power outage. Anyway, what do you want? The, the, the man is here, sir. Okay. Okay. Commando, my boss. Stand up, stand up, stand up. There's only one commando. <laughs> Sit down very well. You're sitting like a soldier. I am a soldier. Yes, yes, I know you're a soldier, but um, okay, never mind, never mind. Did anyone know you're coming? I did not tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Very good. Including your boss? I did not tell Rambo. Good, good. Because you're going to become the new Rambo. Me? Yes, yes, you. But there's a price. Are you ready to pay the price? I am. What is the price? Good. Pay out. <laughs> you have it already, sir. Good. Then I have a job for you. How much is? Today, I meet the last time. This time around, I'm not going to miss it for anything. I'm not going to miss it for anything. When light comes, darkness must disappear. Yes! We are living in darkness. Your time is up. I'm talking to you, the court is in this school. You are making the life of people miserable. Yes. Kidnapping and destroying lives. Your time is up. Yes. Move for, yes. for darkness. Light has come. And Jesus is light. Yes. Jesus is light. Yes. And he's here. Yes. I'm talking to you, Rambo. Your time is up. Your time is up. Surrender to Jesus. 
or face the consequence of death. I am talking to you, Registrar! Oh, you pretend as if you don't know what is going on. But you are an agent of darkness. The Registrar must confess his sin. If he doesn't want the wrath of God to come upon him, him and his family. He's a key player in the life of courtism in this school. Ah. The registrar does not know about the courtes in this school alone. He is a courtes himself. Yeah. He is their employer. Ah. I'll get to the bottom of this. Excuse me. I'm talking to you, Rambo. Your time is up. Surrender to Jesus or face the consequence of death. I am talking to you, Registrar. We are an agent of darkness. Registrar must confess his sin. If he doesn't want the wrath of God to come upon him, Gentlemen, him and his I have just been served the last card to resolving this puzzle. came back. Someone has to watch your back. Thank you for saving me. No, you are the one saving lives up there. <laughs> I was coached by the best. My coach told me I should just open my mouth. You will feel it. Oh, God. But you did open them too much. I beg, small, small. <laughs> <laughs> you and this your life. Where are you going to? Ah! Hey, go preach now. I'll be praying for you. Ah, thank you. Thanks. The devil is alive! No! 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 Hello? Rambo? Hello, Dad. Don't call me that. There is a big problem. What is it? The campus is on fire. One of your useless boys has become a preacher. It was recorded on the open field. Exposing everything. You must stop him. There is nothing I can do about it. What do you mean? He has made his choice. So, you can't send one of your boys to silence him? I already did. And he was silenced. So what else do you want me to do? Look, Rambo. If you don't do something about this thing, it can bounce back on me. And if it bounces back on me, you can be sure that you will also eat a piece of the cake. <laughs> cake. <laughs> that is the last thing on my mind now. And more so, I am watching my weight. Are you mad? Do you think I'm joking here? 
you offered me cake and I said no. So who is the joker? Rambo, stop playing with fire. Quench it. Registra. We are all trapped in this fire. And there is no going out. <sighs> what do you mean? I just got the news that mom is dead. Did you hear that? I am not your dad. Don't dare deny me. Don't you dare deny me, dad. Mom is dead. I didn't know about this. So now you know. Your sacrifice is complete. And you must be a happy man now. I, I, I don't know what you are talking about. Registrar. We can play hide and seek together, you know. I have all the time. You have paid your sacrifice. Hmm? And you must think you will be a happy man. Your dream of climbing the upper chamber has finally come to pass. Hmm? But guess what? You would have used to me for the sacrifice instead of my mom. Because I swear, I swear I will use every power in my possession to stop you from reaching your goals. And yes, we are all trapped in this fire together. No one is going out. No one is escaping. Die here together. Did you hear me? We die here together. What? There is a problem, sir. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, that useless preacher, he must be stopped. It's not about the preacher. It's the parents. There is a massive riot outside. They are demanding to see you. Tell them I'm not available. But you have to attend to them. It's not only the parents that are causing the chaos. The students are now involved. So how can you allow this matter to degenerate to this level? <sighs> but your presence will help to calm the situation. My friend, don't be stupid. Go out there and tell them that I am not a cult member. How can that retarded fool go and stand in the public and publicly declare that I am a cultist and you people are sitting here doing nothing? But sir... You must I teach you your job? If you don't speak up, he is going to get me. I more. will not justify those baseless accusations with a response. No! I will not. So don't come inside here and tell me any trash. Now, get out. I said, get out of my office! Get out! Ah! Oh! Hello, sir. See me in my office. Yes, sir. I'm sure you have been hearing about the uh, unfounded and baseless accusations being spread by some of these uh, ignorant students. Very unintelligent young people. Uh, sir, uh, what I, I, I think we need to do now, sir. See me in my office, Dr. Lani Waju. Yes, sir. <sighs> ah! So, Frank, you have not eaten anything for the past two days now. Frank, sir, is there any hope for the hopeless, Frank? There is always hope, sir. 
He's sitting right in front of me, Frank. Who? For the past three days, he has been following me closely. He has been sent to take me away. Who are you talking about, sir? My son offered me freedom, but he won't let me take this freedom. He has been sent to ensure that I follow him to the grave. Who? Death. Honey, I'm home. Mr. Frank, my name is Mr. Komano. Welcome home. Please, please don't hurt my family, please. Your sweetheart has been busy attending to us. I'm sorry she could not answer you when you came in. Please, what, what do you want? What, what do you want? Is it money? Shut up! Do I look like an arm robber to you? No. No, you, you look nothing like that. Exactly. I don't need your money. Then please, what do you want? Please. You have access to Chief Sawyer. Chief Sawyer? Chief Duro Sawyer! Yes, yes. Yes. Take this. See how they shake, no be man. Collect! If you take him down, we will not take your family down. Mr. Frank, you have a choice. Your family or your boss. Now. You have to take some things out. Frank? Sir. Thank you. When everyone deserted me, you stood by me. You fought by me. You were a son to me. Please, sir. Please, take the tea. You're an evidence that faithful people still exist. Sa, the tea. Um, um, driver. Sir. Take me back. Sorry, my boss said I should drop you in front of the house. Turn the car around now and take me back. Sir, I cannot disobey my boss. Hmm. I wish there was something I, I could give you, but they have taken everything away from me, Frank. Please, sir, just take something and you'll be fine. Your husband was given a simple assignment. He has one minute to comply. Please, sir, please. Please. I'm not a killer. But your husband is about to make me one. Listen, I know what my father told you. I'm ordering you right now. I'm, okay, okay, look, I'm begging you right now to turn the car around and take me back. You are not my employer. If you were, I would have listened to you. But you are not, so I can't. Please, look, if you don't turn the car around right now, this man will die. And if I turn the car around now, I could lose my job. If he loses his life now, you will not have a job. So make a choice. Your, 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 your job or his life. 30 seconds. Please. <laughs> Please, sir. Please. <laughs> Why do you care so much for me when I do not even deserve it? Frank, you are more than a boss to me. You are my father. And you will save me a lot of pain if you just take the tea. Please, <laughs> please, please, sir, please. 
Four. Please, this is a matter of life and death. I'm begging you, turn this car around. This is this is serious. This is urgent. <laughs> Three. Please, take the Tisa. Two. Tisa, please don't shoot the gun, please. Once again, thank you, Frank. Hello. It is done. Can I speak to my wife? Your husband wants to speak to you. Hello. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Oh my god. Hello, Frank. Can you hear me? Hello. What have you done? Dad? No, no, no. What is this? What is this? What have you done to him? Tell him to call the doctor! Dad! 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 Please! Dad! <laughs> 